as M1, M2, M3, and M4 are in a relationship of density, density is decreasing, right? It's decreasing. So it means the following. If I take a planet, like the planet Earth, for example, it will be composed of mass M1, with characteristics M1, so M1 is very dense. Since it is very dense, being the highest density, it all goes to the center first, it becomes condensed, okay? When I take matter M2 made of atoms, particles, protons, electrons, and neutrons with characteristics M2, what will happen? It will be less dense, so it will form a layer around the Earth with a surface that, when that matter ends, has a surface here of matter M2, and the cycle continues. Then I'll have another surface of matter M3, and so on, until this quantum scale of division ends, where the lowest frequency is zero. When it stops vibrating, you don't have particles anymore, you don't have objects, you only have a condensed field. So, here's what happens. This matter is so subtle, so subtle, so subtle that when the sunlight comes, it passes through it and hits here. Because it's so subtle and has very low density, it doesn't reflect light, and if it doesn't reflect light, nobody notices that it exists. It's so subtle that it doesn't exist. This matter constitutes the phase M2 of density M3, M4, and so on. Then I'll start writing other things here like this, so now the astrophysics of planet Earth will change. It will have not only a surface that we know, and this atmosphere made of M1, but there will be another matter that will be together but doesn't mix, and it will form other surfaces, and it's on these surfaces that astral cities exist. So when a spirit dies, the matter that composes the spirit that makes up that person who died is made of matter M2 or M3, not M1. M1 is the physical body, so the physical body is made of matter M1 of these atoms, so I interact here and touch things. But when this body dies and only the spirit remains, the spirit is made of matter M2 or M3 or M4, it is so subtle that it passes through this, the spirit passes through the wall, gravity acts very little on this body, which is as light as a feather, it will float. This astral body, it floats because it is of such low density that the Earth's gravity acts very little on it. However, pay attention, just as I did that experiment with the ball for you, the ball stops on that surface because it doesn't go down, spirits will also walk on this surface. And I'll have a spirit walking on this surface. Right, folks? And I'll have a spirit walking on this surface. And who has a physical body will walk on which surface? This one here. Because with a physical body, you don't stop here. Remember that story of density? If I drop something here, it falls, you understand. That's why I can now divide the Earth into various structural density planes. Got it? Spirits tell us that all life, all structure, began in the subtle planes, and intelligences began implanting life in the physical planes of the planet. So, it's not like Darwin said, life starts here, and no one knows where this life thing is going. No, this is the big radical paradigm shift in the history of science. It's understanding that the spirit exists, life exists primarily in the higher planes, not in the physical plane, and life is not a random thing, as Darwin says, with the evolution of life on Earth. Oh, atoms randomly came together, formed molecules, then organic molecules, then microorganisms, and after billions of years, this complex organism. No, it's not like that. The intelligences operating in these advanced spaces began creating biological forms, designing, implanting, and controlling all forms of life on the surface of dense worlds. This biological body of mind is associated with this surface, but it has a soul inside, it has a spirit inside, okay? When this body ceases to exist, I will have only this more subtle matter. This subtle matter can also stay here, right? If it wants, it can descend here as well. It's like taking a dive into the ocean with a diving suit, and even though the ocean has much higher density in some aspects than we do, you can walk on the ocean floor.
Então, and every diver knows that if they want to sink in the ocean and stay at the bottom, they have to add weight, they have to put on a lead belt, otherwise, they won't sink. To increase their density to be able to sink, and there will be strong material pressure on them that they can't withstand. Submarines don't go very deep into the ocean either, right? So, this is a new theory, an astrophysical theory that applies to Earth, but also to all celestial bodies in the galaxy. Stars, planets, and asteroids. All these celestial bodies that have the characteristic of creating gravitational attractions, and you generate a planetary field where you have all kinds of matter. Now, one thing you may not know, and we can affirm this from what the spirits say, the aliens say, is that there are planets in the universe, celestial bodies in the universe, that don't have this matter M1, they are composed only of subtle matter. How crazy is that? A region of space that only has a little of that matter comes together to form spherical bodies with astral surfaces but doesn't have physical plane 1, density. So it remains completely invisible to us. It's a celestial body that has life, civilization, and a lot of other things, but it's totally invisible to astrophysicists, to our technology that was designed only to detect matter M1. So, we only detect matter M1 with our telescopes, our equipment, in astrophysics, right? But physicists are having problems because when they measure the mass of the galaxy, they know that 85%, 95% of the galaxy's mass is unaccounted for, they can only see 5%, which is matter M1. These 95% of matter are in M1, M2, M3, okay? So, this is Lala's new theory, which of course doesn't really exist. This is nonsense. You are interacting with spirits, interacting with the astral plane, interacting with advanced intelligences. It's information that comes to us, and I try to transform this knowledge that the spirit exists, astral cities exist, there is life after death, this exists, we know it exists. Only physicists don't know it. Only scientists haven't awakened to this subjective reality of the universe yet. But when they do, they'll have to create a mathematical theory to explain it, and this theory is already ready in the astral, right? The spirits are living in the astral cities, they're, and they're living, regardless of whether physicists believe in or have discovered this energy until now. The Hubble telescope looks for distant galaxies but doesn't find the astral cities that are right above our heads. So, now Solar, Shambhala, and thousands and thousands of astral cities that extend throughout the astral Earth. So, we call it the astral plane, exactly these surfaces with very low density compared to M1 for those on the Earth's surface, okay?